Yeah, so this is a disease which attacks the optic nerve and spinal cord. And so patients can present with attacks of blindness or with weakness or paralysis or numbness in their arms and legs. And so these attacks can be both affect, uh, can both affect the, sp uh, the optic nerve and spinal cord or separately. And again, these attacks can be very, very severe such that they can become paralyzed or even die with a single relapse. And that's one of the things about NMOSD where there's often misdiagnosis with multiple sclerosis. Uh, multiple sclerosis is much more prevalent and it can attack anywhere within the brain, whereas NMOSD is the optic nerve, so the eyes and the spinal cord. So there can be a misdiagnosis uh, between NMOSD and MS. So yeah, right now there are no approved treatments for NMOSD whatsoever. Uh, what's exciting is that now there are potentially three treatments coming on board, including cetralizumab. So last year, we announced positive phase three data, and then two other companies also announced positive phase three data.